Kevin Ollie, the coach of that championship team for the UConn Huskies, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Coach, how does that uh, how does that strike you a year later? The memories coming back from that from that victory. Oh, those are good memories, Rich. Uh, you know that um, it was a great run for us, a uh, great run for our university, our state, but most importantly for our for our kids, for what they endured that season before um, being banned, uh, couldn't go to the NCAA tournament, and you know not them not the guys hanging their heads, but going back in the gym working and got an opportunity that following year, and they made the most of it. And that's what you have to do. You have to seize the moments, and I think they did, and uh, it gave us our fourth national championship. Yeah, Tom Izzo right now is calling his team a team of destiny, just flat out using this whole concept that nobody saw this coming, nobody expected it, taking that chip on the shoulder and trying to make it bigger and bigger. How did you do that with your team last year? Uh, Rich, you know, the first – first step to anything you have to see it and I think uh, Tom Izzo see that and you know don't, it don't the whole world don't have to see it you have to see it and then you just make a step towards that and I think he's been working towards that the whole season uh, that's what we did last year we lost our last game to Louisville by 33 on CBS uh, everybody thought the world was coming to the end but I think our guys learned from that uh, we didn't look outside the house we looked right in the mirror and said what can we do better um, going into um, our conference tournament and then also going into um, the NCAA tournament. And, you know, both of us were seven seeds out the East. Um, it's a lot of comparable things to us. <laughs> it's it's kind of ironic, uh, this run that Michigan State is having. I'm just looking at some different things that compare our season to their season. And it's remarkable. It is, it is, it is, it is kind of scary. Yeah, we have, our, we have it up on the screen on our television yeah. version, uh, Coach. You, same preseason ranking of 18, same conference right. record of 12 and 6. <laughs> you both were the runner-up in your conference tournament. You had the same exactly. tournament seed. And, and getting the Final Four, you both defeated the same exact number of seeds, right. the number 10, then 2, 3, and 4, in the same order. Right, awesome. exactly. The only, only, little, only little glitch is we, uh, in the Final Four, we played Florida, and they was the overall number one. So mm -hmm. that's the only thing I could pick out. <laughs> that's incredible. I'm on the phone with Kevin Ollie right now, who's the head coach at UConn, or the, the joke version of basketball, I guess, on that campus, Coach. And I'm, I'm referring to the way that your counterpart of the uh, women's basketball team termed men's college basketball. Gino Oriema calling it, quote, unquote, a joke. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you can't score. What do you say when you hear that uh, mentioned by uh, your colleague on campus there? Uh, it's his opinion. Um, you know, it is a, a game that we do need to score more. And, I mean, that's reality. I mean, you don't want to see games in the 40s. I mean, nobody want to see that. Uh, we want to, you know, have this game open up a little bit more, but that starts with us, you know, as as youngsters understanding the fundamentals of the game, shooting better, uh, doing the different things like that. It's, it's for us coaches to, you know, um, allow our kids to play, um, put them in situations where they succeed. So, you know, it's a numbers of things that can allow our game to be better, um, and I think we're going to go towards that, and we're going to get better as coaches, and we're going to get better as players. And, um, you know, I think NCAA and, you know, everybody collectively we want to see a better game. We want to see a game that's, you know, a, a great experience for our fans who, you know, are the greatest fans in America. They come out and support us. And, you know, our student body here at University of Connecticut is, is one of the best. And we always want to give them a great show, a great experience, so they can always come back and, and, and be great fans of our great university. But, I mean, uh, watching the, the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, I wasn't sitting there. Sa Again, I'm, I'm just a fan. I'm a layperson. Gino Oriema knows more basketball in the tip of his pinky than I do in my entire body. So, but I, I wasn't sitting there thinking this is unwatchable. Yeah, I coach. mean, it, it was some terrific games. I mean, uh, I mean, I imagine Gino is not saying every game is like that, but you know, we do have a, a scoring plague in our in our um, in our game right now. Scoring we want to get it higher, you know. But I don't think Gino was saying every game. You know, he made a. Uh, uh, a, a statement and you know sometimes people blow it out of proportion but that's his opinion and you know his team is playing a wonderful style of basketball they're scoring almost 100 points a game yeah. you know it is what it is you know you want to see those games a little closer too on their side uh, so we all have our problems uh, women basketball in the NCAA and men basketball in the NCAA so you know we wish him to 
the best of luck, and you know uh, we want him to go out there and catch with that tenth uh, national championship, which would be um, unbelievable feat for our great university. Because when the women win or the men win, we all win here, um, because that's how unified we are um, in our, at, at UConn. Coach Ali uh, joining me here from UConn. Three more days left, I guess, to be the defending national champion head yeah, coach. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Soaking it in. Uh, joining yeah, me here. Soak it in. Let's have another party. Let's have another party before Monday. <laughs> Why not? Joining me here on the Rich Eisen show. So, so, coach, how how do you see this final four shaking out between these these four teams? Who do you think is going to be cutting down the nets on oh, Monday night? It's, it's some great teams. Um, of course, I just think Kentucky, you know, is the best team um, if they play. You know, that style of basketball with the talent they have, with the multitude of different players that they can play, um, that is the team to beat. But, you know, like anything, um, when we came in and Florida had, you know, the remarkable um, winning streak and no one was saying that we can um, able to do it, you know, it's always that, that, that team that gets hot, that does the fundamental things. And I think, you know, for us, when we beat Florida, we beat Kentucky, uh, we did the small things, the things that you probably don't look at all the time. We rebounded the ball great. We shot, you know, great from the free throw line. I think we missed about 10 or 12 free throw line, three, uh, 12, 10 to 12 free throws the whole tournament. You know, so all those little things, low turnover, high assists, being efficient and effective um, uh, with your team and, and making timely plays. And, you know, once again, we had the best player um, on the court and that was Shabazz Napier, mm -hmm. and he had other people around him doing their role. And I think um, that's the best thing you can possibly have. And there's some great teams there, Michigan State, uh, we talked about, and Duke and, and Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin was there last year. Um, so it makes it to be a great Final Four. Um, I can't wait to watch and uh, root on all the coaches and all the players and you know all the coaches that's going to represent the Final Four are great friends of mine also. Kevin Ollie joining me here, uh, UConn head coach, champion from last year, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Best player you ever played with at UConn or in the NBA, Coach? Um, best Pisa. player I played with at UConn, I would say uh, Danielle Marshall and Ray Allen. I have to say both of those guys. Uh, Danielle had a, a great career here. He was just so versatile in what he did, you know, on the basketball court, you know, from all different areas and on the defensive end. And then Ray Allen was one of the best shoot, uh, best shooters I played with, but also a great athlete when he came to UConn. So, um, you know, probably Danielle and Ray was probably the best players I played with at University of Connecticut. And then, man, oh, I played with so many teams, Rich, but the best two <laughs> players, I'm going to have to do two. Okay. Uh, KD and LeBron and Allen Iverson is right up there, too. Um, I played with so many great players that's in the Hall of Fame, that's going to be in the Hall of Fame. So I just had a great career, um, you know, being around those guys and the thing that stuck out with me with those guys is not just their talent it's just how humble they are um how they continue to work and they always believe no shortcuts to success and i just think that's a beautiful beautiful thing for our youngsters to to understand yeah you can be good you can be talented but if you you never work on your skill your talent is going to fail you sooner or later so Wait. those guys always stayed in the gym and was beating on their craft um every day so that allowed them to be great and sustain that, and that's what you want to do. You want to have longevity wherever you are. Were you on the Sixers team where Iverson had that practice rent? Were you on the practice floor? With? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was in the summertime, though, Rich. Okay. Uh, so that was a summertime and a press conference that mm -hmm. came up, and he was they was talking about practice. So we're not gonna get to that, but <laughs> that was in the summertime. <laughs> but I have been on the court when he didn't decide to practice. Okay. But at yeah. the end of the day, when he got in the game, he gave it a hundred and twenty percent. Yeah. Nobody uh, competed like uh, that young man, and um, you know he was the best out there, being about hundred and fifty pounds, able to do the different things he was doing on the basketball court was amazing uh, for me to see each and every day and I was I had a great seat um, also oh sure he didn't come out the game a lot so I probably had about <laughs> five ten minutes where I played at, but I was on the bench yes. the rest of the game <laughs> so but technically you and I were just talking practice right there we were just yeah, talking about right, practice right just technically just for like a 20 seconds, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Coach, enjoy the next three days, and, uh, okay. and, and I look forward to having you back on this program. Yeah, anytime, Rich. I'm a big fan of you. Oh, thanks. Big fan of yours, and keep doing a great job. You're thanks. Doing. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate okay. that. All that's right. uh, Coach Kevin Off. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.